What's up today my fellow Madden soldiers? So what I'm going to be doing right now is showing you guys how I was able to complete the competitive pass very fast and I'm also going to show you guys how you can also do the same. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So just so you guys know, just stay tuned to the end because I got these two open packs right here and these packs that you're going to want to see because one of them is the 86 plus legend that we get for completing the ultimate pass all the way at the end of it right so you see right here i got 305 out of 300 so i also got a few extra competitive points and i'm going to show you guys right now i didn't really have to go i grind it but i didn't have to play tons of head-to-head -to -head games which some of you guys may think you have to if you want to you're probably even uh, able to complete it faster if you're really that good at the game i'm not the greatest so i just complete what i need to and try to complete a lot of the other objectives and everything else which i'm going to show you guys right now but let me go all the way back right because i'm gonna show you guys all the rewards that i was able to get on the way up which which actually uh helps out a lot some of you guys are asking me how do i go to buy like how do i have over six million coins which i'm about having seven million coins all right so in the beginning i did open up i did buy a few packs right so i was able to garner up at least a million coins in the beginning honestly but after that i mean i just lost count because all i did was just save up my coins from then on save up my coins complete set sell the masters um continue to grind and once again i only buy when i need to and i try to do it smartly and i try to teach you guys the same thing at times i will splurge and like say for instance they come out with a player i really really want i might pay a little pretty penny for it if i really want it but if it's just someone that i want to use real quick i'll get it and then quick uh, sell them or if they're set pieces i'll buy them um keep the the bnds and then sell the master back stuff like that but there is a few players that i will keep but it's very rare i don't go and try to buy every single top player but anyways as you see on our way up we get uh xp tons of coins right and just to let you guys know once again i didn't even need the xp i'm already done completing completing the season but i'm glad that EA offered it because it helps a lot of you guys out there who hasn't fully leveled up all the way to level 61 so i'm all right with that the more xp for you guys to help level up faster the better i got this random rare strategy item with this actually quick sells for 26k and that's actually what i did with it i just added it to my coins i got this 87 overall lance uh with mccutcheon i can't even pronounce his name it's fine a lot of people don't like them whatever you know I, I really don't care for them either i just keep them because you never know one of these days i might want to build another theme team so i like keeping all these extra players it might come in handy later on then we got this red zone pack um more coins mud champions token red zone pack so we got a lot of these packs um i didn't pull nothing glitchy out of these but i pulled maybe like an 85 the highest but they're good though because I, that's like 30k coins and like the elites that i pulled out of them like the 81s a2s were like 10k so all that adds up and then and eventually you get a lot of coins then i got this 89 overall exclusive tom compton which i made a video on already red zone pack 50k coins touchdown pack 50k coins so these last four is what i got so i end up getting another 100k i got this touch a touchdown pack for you guys at the uh, towards the end of the video i'm gonna open it as well as this 86 plus so stay tuned so them are all the rewards that you get right and how i was able to complete it fast so stay uh keep in mind that this is the second week of the competitive pass it's it's available for two weeks and it says right here week two available until next monday right then they're going to end up having another one so this is week two but keep in mind that every week they, they they reset this and you're you're gonna have new objectives and these objectives is six times five is thirty so that's already thirty competitive points for completing these objectives and it's very easy to complete I'm telling you right now I always look at the objectives and I was like okay let's see what we gotta do get six hundred yards uh, rush for six hundred yards at much champs solo Bowser seasons um pass for 200 yards so i look at all this and my first thing to do is go to solo battles and get as much as this done as i can and i'm gonna be honest with you i get all of this done in solo battles the only reason i wasn't able to get it done this week which a lot of you guys could understand is because i was only able to play two solo battles because there was a glitch some of you guys are only able to play one what i did was i played the first one because i actually seen the first one the, it actually was open available to me then after i played the first one it kicked me out and then when I went back in, it only showed the featured one. So I was able to play two. So I took advantage of that. But besides that, though, I wasn't able to complete no more solo battles. But just with those two games alone, I completed everything besides the interceptions. So I, I played head to head and I was able to complete those objectives. So you want to do that first. And then this set piece right here, I thought they, I thought they reset every two weeks. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Every week. But apparently they don't because they didn't reset for me today. But even if you haven't did them yet, always make sure you complete these sets right here because that's an automatic um, 20, uh, 20 competitive pass. And once again, these are these are these right here. 
So 30, 30 is gonna, you're gonna get 60 competitive points just for completing these objectives right here, all right? For the week one and week two. So this is week two, so I got another 30, but I'm just letting you guys know that this is another 20, and then you can play the head to head. -head. I played 10 head to head games, but um, the first five is the only ones that count it, and the reason why I say first five is because I play after I complete the competitive pass, I just kept on playing head to head. So I got more competitive points, if that makes sense. So I was already done. I didn't have to play head to head to get more. I just happened to play head to head and got more. As you guys can tell, I think I got 305 out of 300. So I, I was already maxed out. It just, once again, I'm still going to play head to head. Um, so I'll probably end up getting more, but I don't need them. Mutt Champs. The only thing I played was 15 Mutt Champs. So I played 15 Mutt Champ games. Mud champ games and five head to head games. That's all I played, and I was able. Oh, and the solo battles. I'm sorry. Before I continue on, I play all my solo battles. So you want to make sure you play your solo battles every single day, all four of the first five on the first day, and then for every uh, four every other day, right? And you also want to make sure you complete the objectives that they give you in your solo battles, right? This one here is four six fumbles and solo battles, gains three thousand yards in solo battles, and you want to make sure you complete that. And what I usually do is I play on MVP. And it says you can uh, play up to 25 solo battle games on MVP or higher, right? So automatically I start MVP. I at least play 25 solo battle games throughout the week. Once I play my 25 solo battle games to get the most competitive points as I can, I automatically go from there and I just go to veteran. I make it easy for me. Um, just, I, like, I actually did that today, very easy. And I was able to get a lot of those other objectives done. So that's how I was able to complete it real fast. Is that I look at the, I look at the stats once again make sure i see what i have to do um complete these sets to make sure these uh you understand the stats complete these sets get that out the way and then you want to go to solo battles see what other other objectives you want to complete and then I, I would actually start on solo battles get the first five done that that day wherever you got to get done then i'll go ahead and dip in mud champs and head-to-head -head seasons mud champs is a little bit more complicated because you're only able to play 25 games so people are not easily wanting to quit out easy but you're going to at least be able to get 15 wins in two weeks, right? So just so you know that, um, I was able to get my 15 wins, so I'm all right with that. And then at least get five in head-to-head -head seasons. But if you're really that good at mud champs and stick to mud champs and complete them, then you'll really, you'll really level up real fast, right? But I'm just sharing this with you guys because I'm just letting you guys know you don't have to complete every head-to-head -head game or every mud champ. Just complete enough. The main thing is completing the objectives, the solo battles and stuff like that to get the most... And uh, that's how I do it every week. So my honestly, my main thing, I, I really just want to get the 200 competitive points to get the 89 overall or the nine, whatever off, or whatever the highest pair that they're gonna give us. Um, but I seen that okay, well it's easy to complete the whole thing. Why not go ahead and complete the whole thing and get these other free packs and 100k coins? But if, like I said, worst comes to worst, it's a busy week, whatever the case may be. I always know I could, I could get the 200 competitive points and just make it easier for me and just get that off the way. So just let you guys know that don't overwhelm yourself. If you don't want to get the 300 competitive points to fully complete it, that's fine. Just try to get the 200, which you guys can, in order to get enough to get it done. What we got going on here? Look at that. We already pulled pull the 87 to begin with. I already made some coins right there. And I do not need him. But hey, I'm gonna, I am gonna definitely could keep that. We got here. Another 87? Wow, I pulled 287. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. That was just from completing the competitive uh um competitive pass. I got this. Ooh, how much he's going for? Oh, we're, we're wrong thing. Here we go. 80k. 80k. So I'm about to add to my stack right now. Okay. So I'm gonna leave that alone. I'll go back to that in a minute. But let me go ahead and open up this other pack. But you guys seen right there. Pull 287s right there. Glitchy pull. That's why I completed so I Please ain't been hired in the 86. Hook me up. Hook me up. And they gave me an 86. Yeah. I really don't care. These really ain't really that worth it. But this right here will make up for the 50K I spent earlier on one of my Cowboy players. So what's he going for? 55K? 56K? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and sell them for 50K. I'm going to get this out the way right now. I don't even want this. These go up and down. So they can go ahead and just have this player. Give me my 50k coins 86 overall guys go ahead and have that um and i'm gonna see what i'm gonna do with the other 87 most likely i'm gonna sell them i don't think i'm gonna do anything else with them hey but that's cool though man i was able to pull the 287s i'm happy um i haven't pulled nothing glitchy out of those 86 pluses the last the last one was 85 plus um but it's fine though i got 50k coins and i'm about to get another like what 80 80 160k just for getting those 87s very happy that i i, I profited a lot 
So anyways, there it is there. If you guys like seeing what you've seen, drop a like on the video. If you guys need sub, sub to the channel. There will be more great, amazing content coming your way. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I'm out.